they earned their living on the streets of Quito, shining shoes, sometimes stealing or begging. They're with their mothers or they're on their own. And this is the man who wants to give them a better life. It started when Oscar, a Christian businessman, offered to feed a shoeshine boy. I went to the bread shop and I said, Juan, come in. And he said, no, because the owner won't let me in. And he showed me his hands and said, I'm dirty. The next time, three of Juan's friends joined them. I bought some rolls and a yogurt and shared it with them. I said, I'm going to read you a children's Bible story and open my Bible. But to my surprise, one of the three boys had been a Christian. He took off his cap and said, we have to pray before we start. Oscar shared the story with the people in his church, and soon a group of volunteers joined him to feed the children. They called the ministry Bread of Life. Today they feed hundreds of needy children and their mothers three times a week. They always need volunteers to cook the food, cut vegetables, and also to talk with the children. It's fulfilling to help them, to do something different for them. Volunteers cook and serve the food, wash dishes, and find creative ways to share God's message of love with children and adults alike. I come here and I'm very happy. Every Sunday I hear the word of God and leave with a lighter burden. I didn't obey my mother, so sometimes I took things. Now that I know God, I have changed a lot. And to make sure these children can get off the streets, the ministry also provides specialized classes, school supplies, clothes, and medicine. It's a dream fulfilled for a Quito businessman and the shoeshine boy he befriended eight years ago. Stan Jeter, CBN News.